We're going to roll on by with the next comic. So give it up for Eric Jankovic! Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Everybody hear me well? Up back? Thank you very much. This is uh, my virgin gig in English. That means this first one, in case you're a bit daft. Uh, so um, it feels really good to do it here at Soder, as you call it. Because this is, I know this is like the mellow part of Stockholm. It's not so pretentious. So I know you'll be very good to me. Right? Right? <laughs> Actually, I, I, I did have the intention of trying to fool you uh, into believing I was really English. Um, but uh, I realized that would be like impossible. So I skipped that because I, I realized that basically I was probably too good looking. And, uh, I don't mean to like... I don't mean to be nasty to anybody British, because I know you fight. Uh, but as any Swede who's ever been on vacation to like the Mediterranean or anything knows, if you see a British person, they're like really pale. Even after like two weeks in the sun, they're really pale. And they got like freckles everywhere. Um, football shirt. And a skinhead. And that's just the women. <laughs> And so they look like Wayne they look like Wayne Rooney, really. He's like a standard British person. Um, so uh, yeah. Well actually I'm going to uh, reveal my true identity. Uh, I'm from the south of Sweden. Um, I would say town, it's probably a village to you people. Uh, called Lund. Woo! <laughs> Everybody knows? Yeah? It's a tiny village. Um, so, and, uh, oh yeah, at least I forget. Uh, everybody in here, I would like to ask you, everybody, before you leave tonight, that you like sign up your name and personal data. Uh, it's not for me, it's from a friend at the Skjone police. Um, and, yeah, you don't believe me, you don't believe me. And they would just like me to assure you that it's not the registry, okay? It's real, it's not the registry. They just like to, like to keep track of people and what's happening. So, uh, basically this started with the gypsies. Um, I don't know the English word for Romo. <laughs> Sorry, I say gypsies. Um, so, uh, they started with, with the, the gypsies, and now the Stockholm people are next. And, uh, any people from Gothenburg here? Oh yeah, good. You're next. Watch out. <laughs> Yeah, uh, so, um, anyway, uh, I got seven minutes up here, which is not very much. And uh, so any married ladies here? No. Clap your hands, please. Oh, God, that's horrible. <laughs> that's horrible. No married ladies. Okay, well, the ladies anyway, I think. I mean, it might be a surprise for you to see a guy perform anything worthwhile over seven entire minutes. Uh, I know some of you ladies, it's been quite a while, uh, but I mean, all the guys here will be able to tell you that seven minutes can be used very wisely and uh, actually give both parties a lot, if both, you know, once and twice, sometimes, you know, even falling asleep afterwards. So seven minutes, not to be underestimated, really. <laughs> um, doing a bit of a jump here. Um, food. I know you got it here as well. I saw some people eating earlier, so you got food here. That's good. I think food to me is like a challenge because I said, as I said earlier, I mean I look good, really. So uh, I want to, I want to like look good for a while yet. So I'm, I'm sort of careful about what I eat. And you can't eat anything nowadays because everything is like poisonous, and you can't eat fish, and water gives you cancer. And, uh, so and you got all these diets. You got like Atkins and um, low carb, high fat. LCHF, you got that. So it's really, it's really difficult to know what to, to how to eat right. And also, I'm raised with this saying, you know, you become what you eat. <laughs> you ever get that? When you were a kid, you had some like grandmother or auntie, and you would reach for the can, you know, and she'd pop up, you know, from there, like, ah! <laughs> you become what you eat. <laughs> and then you wait a while, and you know, oh, some crisps are nice, and she'd pop up again, ah! They become what you eat. <laughs> and you get that a couple of times and you get a bit mad about it. So when she said that enough times, she'd be like, yeah, well, what did you eat to become so old, fat and ugly? 
and told me I'll stay, I'll stay away from that stuff. Um, <laughs> so, um, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> I forgot where it was now. Um, so, uh, anyway. Um, but I, when you hear that enough times, that you, you become what you eat, you start believing it. Um, so I did, for a while. Um, and I, I believed it, like, to the extreme. So I, I started to start eating vegetables. Because um, every time I see some guy in a wheelchair, like, hose up his nose. And, you know, my first thought would not be, oh, he's been in a car accident. It would be like, oh, the tomatoes, I did that to you. <laughs> you should have listened to my gun. <laughs> um, and also, I mean, this may sound slightly homophobic, and it is. Um, I stopped eating fruits as well. <laughs> Because, you know, you know, I'm, I'm quite happy with the way I am, so I, I, you know, I, I've always found it a bit peculiar when you're like at the grocery store and you see some guy put like lots of bananas and apples and things in the basket and I look at him and he's like, oh, you know, better stay away. Um, especially the old guys, that sort of creeps me out. Ladies are okay though. It's, it's really, it's really, it's really okay. Um, I mean, I'm not, I'm not extreme, so... Um, <laughs> somebody spoke? And, well, you know, this saying, you know, you become what you eat, you may think, oh, well, it's a lot of bollocks. But then you, you find this case which sort of confirms your prejudice, and that sort of freaks you out. In my case, and please laugh now, <laughs> I met this, I got to know this gay guy, who was a complete dick. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, just to top that, his husband was a complete arsehole. As well. <laughs> I noticed. What, what's your name, man? You yeah, Robin. Okay, because he's a bit. He's like been looking at me all the time. I've been standing here, so I'm a bit uncomfortable. He's got his head like in my crotch region. So. <laughs> So uh, I'd just like to say for the record, I do, I do have a lady, um, not paid for, but you know, she's not here tonight, so I can say anything I want. Um, but she's, you know, uh, we are, we're what, we're, we've got this Swedish word, I'm not sure you know, it's called samb. It's like Rambo with an S at the beginning. Um, and basically, which one of you is the Irish girl? What's your name? Hello. Um, can I ask you something? If you're, if you're Irish, are you Catholic? Let's say you're Catholic, just for sake of argument. It's a Swedish sambo, to explain it like easily, it's like what you in Ireland call uh, living in sin and going to hell when you die. <laughs> That's the same thing, really. It sort of combines the advantages of being married. You know, you, you share your life with someone, and, and you have sex, with the disadvantages of being married, which is you share your life with someone and you have sex. <laughs> so, uh, but she's, she's like, she's, she's, uh, she's a good girl, you know, and uh, the only thing, the biggest problem is she's sort of like a, a, a cleaning, like, maniac, <laughs> sort of, it sort of freaks me, she's sort of borderline, it's extreme, because we live in this big house, and she thinks you have to, like, vacuum it every month, and, <laughs> I, 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 you know, it's so uh, all the arguments we have, it's unbelievable. So, uh, I'm, I'm really, my first thought when I think about that is like, God, thank God I'm not like in a concentration camp with her. <laughs> that would never work out. I mean, our, our relationship would not survive that, literally. <laughs> because she'd like command the whole barracks. She'd like collect people in the morning and tell you two, you pick up all the dead bodies and you put them over here. And everybody with typhus, you stand over there, you don't breathe on your, on your colleagues and you respect, you know, the marks on the floor, so you don't move away from there. And all, or, you know, all the guys, I'd be standing like this, and, go, <laughs> and every guy would be looking at me and she's, 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 your, she's your woman, right? You know? So, but it, make it really easy to get up in the morning and go away to the mine and, and have a nice day where, you know, relax a bit, <laughs> away from all the talking. Because, you know, when you get back, she'd be all really happy. Hello, love. Close the day at work, you know, and you know the, the watchtower that there's never a guard in it, and the big hole in the fence? Well, me and the girls have fixed that for you. <laughs> That's all, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for listening. And, uh, thank you, thank you.
I didn't even use the word fuck once. Thank you very much.